Hey, what's up, guys? And what's up, Sussex Squad? Listen, we are calling an emergency weekend uh, meeting about what's going on with Kate. If you guys don't know, Kate issued a Mother's Day pick. Now, let me just, if you guys don't know what's going on, I'm going to bring you up to speed, and then we're going to get into the evidence, okay? Kate issued a Mother's Day pick. Nye, Kensington Palace did. Here's what we know. It was issued. It had all three kids. They said William was the one that took the picture. Now, right about then, I said, that's a lie, because we know William. He ain't taking no pictures unless he was taking pictures of his rose bushes, if you know what I'm saying. But everybody, when they first originally saw the picture, thought there was something off. There was just something off with the picture. Additionally, it drew in comparisons to the picture that Kate driving with her mom. Now... I saw the conspiracy theories going all over Twitter, and you guys know I usually love to jump in. But I said, you know what? Let's wait to see what plays out. Because I know this old man Scooby, who's kind of stayed away from this issue completely, all of a sudden jumped on Twitter and said, how's everybody doing this fine Sunday? How's everybody going? And I was like, what's going on? Why did it look like royal Twitter was kind of like inching? All of a sudden, the unthinkable happened. Associated Press, that is the premier press, issued a kill switch on the picture. If you guys don't know what a kill switch is, once a story's already ran, they basically do an internal memo saying, listen, something's wrong with this. We cannot let this be out there because it violates the standards of journalistic integrity. The very foundations of what journalism is it violates. Not only can we not let this stay out there, but any Associated Papers pull it down. Routers did it. Associated Press did it. I believe Bloomberg did it. Now, why did they do it? Because they are contending that not only was the picture heavily Photoshopped, but it was, in fact, a I generated. It was, in fact, AI generated. I have a little slideshow. We're going to show you how they broke it down, but also we're going to go into what this actually means. You guys, Sussex Squad, let me just say this because y'all been rocking with us since the beginning. And it brings no one pleasure to say this, but all jokes aside, where is Kate? Where's Kate? Where is she? You cannot tell me that that woman is well. I'm beginning to even doubt whether she is still on this earth. Only an idiot could have fallen for the stupid Kinson and Pals narrative of, I would never comment on a woman's health. No one was commenting on Kate's health. We were wondering where she was. Nobody wanted medical records. Nobody wanted a doctor's statement. We were wondering where she was. And as the weeks passed and things got weirder and weirder and weirder, the cries grew more and more and more. Now, I know the idiots and the people that love to be like, oh, I'm just so like, I don't know what it is, but the palace always preys on people feeling like a good person wouldn't do that. Only someone that is morally bankrupt would see a, or just dumb, would see a woman clearly missing. A husband, it's my opinion, whether he, whether he called it or whether he knew about it. I know we make jokes about William being competent, William doing this. He literally has seen William unravel over the last few weeks. We've seen him unravel over the last few weeks, whether it's because he caused it or whether because he can't stop it. I don't know. But we have seen a man unravel. We have seen unprecedented things happen. We have seen a palace who was always incompetent be caught flat-footed time and time again. But somehow they were able to say, how dare you question a woman's health? As if they care about women's rights. We literally gave people the benefit of the doubt. Queen Elizabeth faked the death of two of her cousins just because they were special needs. And then banished them into a mental hospital that was a prison for the rest of their lives. Do you really think they give an F about the Princess of Wales? Again, I just don't understand how we give this institution 
And I know it has its defenders, but I will say this down and I've always said it. Anyone that defends that institution is vile. And the best thing they can do is get away from the institution. Yes, we are not royalists. We want to see the anarchy burn, but that is besides the point. The fact that they were able to turn a woman who there's clearly something wrong. And again, this is all my opinion. You don't have to believe me. Please go do your own research. I would invite you to listen to what I have to say, but please don't take it as fact. Of course, this is speculation. I am not a doctor. However, however, why do we need for people that are authorities to tell us what anybody with two eyes can see? There's something very wrong. Kate is missing. She is not able to come and show herself. And the palace, Kensington Palace, has no answers for it. And all these people saying, how dare you ask? Her? Because that's the thing with Kensington's palace. They'll always hide behind. How dare you ask a woman, a woman, a woman, shut up. They have never been pro anybody, white old money male. They do not even care about the women, but there is a pecking order. Charles, an 80-year-old man, had to come out while he had cancer to work, but we couldn't ask where Kate is. Not what's wrong with her, but where she is. But you know what? Let's get into this. First of all, let's talk about this whole situation that is happening at routers okay uh ap pet ap press and i believe one other institution what did they do why was this so monumental the ap press gave a kill notification immediate action needed this is an internal memo that was leaked but i think they leaked it on purpose because at the end of the day, as much as people like to talk about YouTube, blog, Twitter, all this other stuff, these big organizations run off of nothing but clicks and views. And they run off of ownership of stories. I believe the AP press issued this kill notification and it was publicly released because they wanted to take public ownership that they were the first ones to verify that the photo was not real. It violates journalistic integrity on so many levels that it must be pulled down immediately lest it violate. Now, um, what is journalistic pillars? Well, it needs to be true. You need to have reasonable knowledge that you think what you're printing is true. Anyway, the story title, UK Royal Princess. Story number 4482422. Date of original transmission, March 10, 2024, the reason for killing the story. At closer inspection, it appears that the source has manipulated the image. No replacement photo will be sent. If you guys don't know, they said, please remove it from all platforms, including social, where it may still be visible. You're receiving this email because the Associated Press is now serving notice of video kills to customers via an operational email. This change will ensure all needed parties are aware of any relevant issues with the AP video content. At least three, at this moment, three international picture agencies refused to distribute this morning's photo of Kate and her children. Some of them, the AP, have claimed the source, the palace, has manipulated the image. Let's rewind this because it's very interesting. At closer inspection, it appears the source, which is Kensington Palace, has manipulated the image. Also, no replacement photo will be sent. The palace has gone silent. The palace has gone dark. The palace has been flat-footed. Now, remember when I guys told you that I give it till next Monday until this whole charade fell apart? Sussa Squad, can we call it or can we call it? Again, it doesn't even give us any joy because at this point, we I don't even, I don't know Kate as a person, so I can't speak her own personally, but the image she projects you guys know I'm not a fan, but even now I'm like, where is this woman? I do want to give a shout out to Breaking News, HM, uh, Harry and Megan today on uh, Twitter, and also the Lovejoy, that's Cyber Raw 612 um, on Twitter, right? Uh, because they literally sent me messages, DM me, Sherry Couture, Valerie Renee, thank you. Y'all were like, vacation's over. Get up and get to work. Anyway, let me get back in 
to, um, uh, let me just get back into this. Why is this so important? Well, let's listen to Tanil Clark on Twitter. She is a storied publicist, okay? She is a storied publicist. She said, in all my years as a publicist, I have never seen a kill notification issued in my career lifetime from such a high ranking media organization. I know publicists older than me that have also not witnessed this. It's so startling from every angle. This is not good at all. She goes on to say, I am very, very concerned. Again, they are very, very concerned. Journalistic Twitter is going crazy on the kill notice. They're acting like they've seen Bigfoot. I don't think that we understand what it is. It's not issuing a correction. It's not saying, oh, my fault. It's saying that we understand that what we have right now violates every notion of journalistic integrity so much down to its core that we cannot distribute this pick lest we throw away everything. And if you guys don't know about journalistic standards, journalists and newspaper outlets are afforded a certain matter of legal protection. They don't have to give up sources. They don't have to do this and that. It's legal protection, but it is not free. They must adhere to certain standards in order to be eligible for that legal protection. They are pulling this picture back because now everybody knows that journals, journals, journalists, um, newspaper uh, outlets, sources, whatnot, they have special uh, software. Since the rise of deep fakes and all this other stuff, they actually have special software that when they run and programs that when they run pictures through or video, right? Because again, people put so much weight into what they say. When they run that, they can actually tell us something is fake, deep fake, AI generated. Just to make sure that somebody doesn't just make something, they run with it. And before you know it, they start uh, World War III. It's not over, guys. Okay. We need, there is more. Okay. Um, so, Weinstein Lynn says, she's another PR person, says, it wouldn't necessarily be, so Henry VIII on Twitter said, I'm going to get into the power presentation where they actually rip it apart, but let me just say this, okay? I wish there was someone reliable who could tell us the degree of editing it would take to have major news outlets put up disclaimers like this. She says, it wouldn't necessarily be the extent of editing. All they have to do is ask for the raw image file and compare the two. I'm guessing the AP requested, but did not get the raw file, thus the disclaimer. I disagree. It would have to be more than not getting the raw file. It's weird to ask for the raw file. It would not. It's a Mother's Day photo. It has come that the source gave them something highly manipulated. They also said, consider, consider this. This is Nika, Nika on Mrs. Ambiguous on uh, Twitter. Consider a consider this. The Associated Press is also not simply a news platform, but it is a news database. AP, routers, Al Jazeera, etc., all distribute their content to millions of smaller news producers worldwide. A kill notification means everybody in that network must withdraw. We haven't seen this in a long, long time. We'll say this. And one fell swoop, William literally single handedly destroyed Kensington Palace as a legitimate news source. Again, they're going crazy. The journalists are. Tanil actually gave a professional opinion. So a person asked her, So you mean that if this is issued, AP thinks something is seriously wrong, or they were giving information that something was wrong and therefore they had to delete the story? Tanel said, just in my professional opinion, it means that the integrity of the source is compromised. The organization made a decision based on their journalistic responsibility to recall the image. This would have had multi-managerial C-suite, which is the highest level, input before the notification was issued. So, 
Kensington Palace has it's the second time been caught trying to give proof of life for Kate. And this is the second time, but most startlingly, that even the news organization would stand by this one because it was so horrible. They are not able to produce proof of life for Kate. They are not able, again, to produce proof of life for Kate. It was alleged that William took this photo earlier this week. Now, we're going to get into the PowerPoint presentation, but if I can direct your um, eyes to this uh, image on the screen, look at this picture. A lot of people on Twitter actually pointed out something very, very, very interesting, okay? Forget about whether it's Photoshopped, right? Because they pointed that out. Forget about this. The one thing that actually caught my eye, and we're going to get into what everybody else on Twitter caught, but let me just tell you what caught my eye. Look at this scene. Look at what's going on, right? Now, Kate doesn't have her wedding ring. Great. But even the angle of it doesn't seem like she's got. We can debate all that later because actual Photoshop experts have broken this down. But the one takeaway that shocked me and actually scared me and chilled me to my bone was the background. Look at those flowers. Look at the leaves. Look at the trees. Someone please tell me where in the UK there are any trees with lush green foliage in the middle of February in the UK. Please tell me. Can someone please tell me how a woman who just had abdominal surgery Who's two, who has two Filipino nurses, who is too sick to even show her face, write anything, or do any work from bed. Can someone please tell me how she got a pair of skinny jeans on? Can someone tell me how her and her two Filipino nurses, as William likes to say, got two pairs of skinny jeans on? Can someone also tell me why William, who? William, who is notorious for arguing that he's taking the kids to school every day. TMZ reported something. William officially issued a rebuttal. I've taken the school every day. Tell me how the Associated Press and major news organizations have said that this photo is compromised and it jeopardizes their journalistic integrity to run it. And these are the databases. This means no one can run this photo. Why? Where's William's denial? Where's William? Don't forget that Kensington Palace said William took this photo himself earlier this week. Where is it? Now, I know the derangers and the people that have let the palace shame them for asking basic questions are busy saying, oh, my God, let it go. A father just Photoshop. The Associated Press is saying this goes beyond Photoshop. This is code red. And, you know, I, I, I know I keep harping on this, but you guys, it saddens me, but also shocks me that they were able to get along, with, get away with this for this long. It bewilders me that an institution based on lies, obscuring the truth, suppressing women, suppressing black people, suppressing Asian people, suppressing natives, I'm sorry, indigenous, suppressing everybody, put whatever your race color group, put it in. That literally for decades and walk around proudly with stolen jewels dripped in our ancestors' blood, who we just saw what they did to Meghan Markle and Harry. Harry is the king's son. It boggles my mind that when we see them lie, 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 we saw what they did to Diana. If you don't even mess with Harry and Meghan, surely you mess with Diana. We saw their motor operand modus operandi over and over and over. And the minute we see something wrong, they are able to put this cloak of moral superiority. And people are either too afraid, not y'all, but the people in the back. So that's what I know y'all true to this, not new to this. People, they throw up this cloak of moral superiority and morals. And, oh, my God, do you not have any limits? How dare you comment on a woman's health? And all these weird talking points. 
And then instead of asking questions, people are shamed, bullied, or just gullible to be like, you guys, leave her alone. I think it's horrible. People are just talking. I've seen the things going on the internet. It's horrible. Have you? But once you push past the conspiracy theories, which they like to call them conspiracy, but it's really just people trying to figure out where is she at? What's going on? Because we know one thing, she, she's not able to come to the phone. She's, they're not even able to show their face. They would not even issue official statement saying that she was making a full recovery. They would not, the palace refuses to even video, just give any real proof of life. And every time they do it, does, it does this. So what people like to call conspiracies is literally doing what they say in Sherlock Holmes. Once you rule out everything that it can't be, and it's what it can't be is what Kensington Palace is saying, then whatever remains, no matter how improbable, must be the truth. Again, I'll let this go because y'all know I love to beat a dead horse. But honestly, stop giving grace to people that have shown that at best they are narcissistic, pathological liars that will burn heaven, hell, and this earth to get what they want. Stop giving grace to people that don't ask for it. This is not a movie. They set the board. They told us what the game was. And then we probably finally said, what part of the game is this? They were playing chess when they were winning. And when we said, what well, part of the game is this? They wanted to switch to Connect Four. What in the world? How are people falling for this? Stop it. The fact that you can literally do this stupid, dumb, elitist, I want to make sure I'm the morally superior person. Asking about where a woman is when she has been missing for over 66 days and there's been nothing but fake photos coming out. Where is the moral support superiority saying, well, I guess they're telling us the truth. That's not moral superiority. That's being silenced. That's stupidity. Start asking questions. And anyone that tells you that you do not have the right to ask questions, that you do not have the right to question known liars, known liars of the grandest portion. You gave, more, not y'all, but people gave grace to someone that faked the death of two mentally ill people and then sentenced them to a mental institution for the rest of their life just because they wanted their bloodline to look pure? Y'all. Anyway, let's get into this. I know y'all are already like, all right, Tisa, move on. So we're going to move on. So let's get into this. Chris Ship, one of the biggest proponents of the monarchy. That's another thing. The UK monarchy is also the UK press is biting at the beat. If you guys don't know, uh, I think it was YD Ors, Horace uh, said that there's something in the UK called a special injunction. If you're wondering why the UK media specifically have not spilled the beans. This special injunction says that you can go to court secretly under secret cover, secret whatever, and you can go and get a gag order where the press can't talk to you. I do believe that this is 100% what is going on. Chris Sip, okay, he is as royal as, as it gets, and he's one of the biggest writers in the royal world, says, and I quote, I've never been much of a conspiracy theorist, but if AP associated whatever, AFP and routers and other picture agencies are concerned enough to remove this picture and ex clients to delete it, there are serious questions for Kensington Palace. Which was the source of the photo? This appears to be the source of the issues. It's not just this. It's Kate's head. Nothing in this looks real. Nothing in this looks serious, okay? More importantly, uh, he goes on to say, next up, the photo has been withdrawn following a post-publication -pu uh, review. Please make no further uh, use. Kinson and Pilas still refuses to respond. Again, this is before the deletion notice took on. This is when they said, hold on, can you just stop? But they tried to make it press pause, right? Um 
again, it cracks me up that even from a logical point of view, people will literally not be like a woman. My, you know what? Let's just keep going. I feel it's so bad. These horrible conspiracy theories. Man, shut up. I hate, you know what I hate more than anything? I hate people that, for whatever reason, love to morally signal when there are real things at play. And I have no mercy for people that believe known liars over and over and over again. And, um, he goes on to say, no comment from Kensington Palace tonight after at least three different international picture agencies refused to distribute this morning's photo of Kate and her children. Notice how they keep leaving off what was essential. William was the one that said it. We do not even need Kate's picture. We don't need Kate to actually come out and say anything anymore. William said he took the picture. Why is nobody questioning the future king of England about why no one can find one picture of his wife that has not been doctored or photoshopped or AI generated since Christmas? Why does nobody have any questions for the future king of England? He's the one that he said he took it. I saw the post. It was lovingly taken by William early this week. Notice even the picture shape, I'm sorry, the face that was in that car, we're gonna talk about the car, and the face that's in this picture are two different people. At least the shape of it looks completely different. Some of them, AP have claimed the source, the palace has manipulated the image. Again, everybody's pointing to Photoshop. I believe the palace's biggest thing of manipulation was the fact that it looks like a head was super implanted, okay? Uh, anyway, now Chris Ship is doing this. Again, did we not say a half ago that we give it till next Monday until the story breaks? It looks like we have the story. Again, they keep going on about the mandatory notice. Uh, again, Sarah J. Harris says it looks like Kate Head has been Photoshopped into someone else's body who has much shorter legs. This would also explain why there's no rings on her finger. Let me tell you guys something, because I have a theory about this, but I want to just get through uh, the pictorial evidence. They said, so MJ, MJAP, right? He is one of the most premier photographers for the Associated Press. This man knows Photoshop like the back of his hand, all right? He says, if it's Photoshop, so he says, I really hate to join in the conversation. Now, let me just say this. The fact that this man, who is an expert, doesn't want to weigh in because Kinsen and Palace scared everybody away from discussing what was going on by Kate by trying to paint anybody that questioned something so weird, so perverse, so disgusting as being conspiracy. You're just a, you're just, what do they call they call Megan people sugars. I don't even understand how that's an insult, but whatever, right? Um, unless that's what the horses that love Camilla eat. I don't know, right? Horses eat sugar. I don't know, right? Um, if you even question something that's highly unusual to the point of being dangerous, you're either making a conspiracy theory, you're not supporting other women, or I'm not going to be one to do this again. This is how power controls. This is how power rules because it literally pulls the moral strings of everyone and makes these weird moral lines for other people for which none exists for them. And they do it all to control. I will never look at the Royals, Kinsen and Powell's or anybody that supports that disgusting institution as a moral authority. You will never shame me. You like uh, literally back on my hind parts, you will never shame me for questioning what these people did. You walk around with the, the blood diamonds proudly. You are the living embodiment of colonialism and you literally, your museums are trophy rooms for what you robbed and stole from our ancestors, blood, sweat, tears, their lives. And you walk around that with no shame, actually looking down, saying, would you, there, there is an inbred bloodline that said that the blood 
of former slaves was not good enough to marry in. And this is who we're letting people be morally superior. This is who we have to morally signal that we're good people. This is who we want to prove that they go low, we go high. Have you not seen Silence of the Lambs? Was Clarice supposed to let Hannibal Lecter go? Do you not know how to deal with demons? Read the M. I can't even curse why I say read the Bible. I was about to say read the blankly blank Bible. Then I said, hold on. Read the Bible for God's sakes. Read some scripture. And if you're not, read whatever holy book if you want. Read a book on how to deal with demons. Do you not know how to deal with demons? Do you not know how to deal with the devil? Was Jesus sitting there trying to let that devil know that he was going to say moral high ground as him? There is no moral high ground. It's all smoke and mirrors. Morality only comes into play when they want you to shut up. Supporting all women, they don't care. It only comes into play when they want to shame you for whatever. Seriously. The fact that we cannot ask why a public official has gone missing for 66 days without sitting there and having people. And the thing is, and y'all know I love Sussex Squad, but some of the Sussex Squad was getting on my nerves. What is this? Know thy enemy. They've done this a million times. We saw the way when Harry rushed over there, they, they treated him. That their flesh and blood. What you think they're going to do to everybody else? We saw what they did to Megan. We saw what they did to their own. But yet, they somehow triggered a response. And people that feel they have to morally signal to prove that I'm better than you. I don't care if you think that we are better, worse, or the same. Might we ask again, where the F is Kate? I don't care. No, are you supporting other? Uh, are you supporting other women? When I can see the other woman, where the f is Kate? How dare you? Is that again? Could you keep trying to rearrange the board? Where the f is Kate? And no one, not the people desperate to morally signal to prove to these racists that think that we're trash. That we have, that what, we come from good stock? That we're good breeding? What is going on? How can you expect something to fall when you still treat it like it's a minority? Like, sorry, like it's an authority. Literally. That's like someone that spits on you and you hit them back and they're like, how dare you? How dare I? How dare? Where the F is Kate? Simple question was bought up over 70-something days ago, I believe. Where's Kate? Right? She's on vacation. Okay. It's time for her to come off of vacation. She has work coming up. Oh, didn't we tell you? She had a pre-scheduled surgery. She did? Yeah, absolutely. But there's engagements on her calendar. If it's pre-scheduled, then how are you? How dare you question a woman's health? Excuse me? How dare you question a woman's health? I wasn't questioning a woman's health. I actually said she, you know what? Never mind. They come in. There's an update. The surgery went well. What? Surgery? Yes. However, she'll be out till after Easter. What? What does she have surgery for? That's none of your business. It's a woman's health. Okay. What, what's the whole thing with a woman's health as opposed to a man? But, okay. But what? what's wrong with her? How dare you? As a matter of fact, we already told you what it was. And then all the minions. Well, they told us what it was. I hope she recovers. What do you mean you hope she recovers? Where is she? What type of surgery takes three months to recover? They pop in again. Oh, wouldn't it let you know? She's doing great. She's doing great. She's recovering great. Okay, fine. They kept messing with us, bothering us with the BS. Okay, great. Um, But... She's going to need six months recovery. What? She's going to need six months recovery. And by the way, she's not working from bed. But what needs six months recovery? And when did this happen? And when did she know? What's going on over there? How dare you? How dare you question a woman's health? Did we not tell you? What are your thoughts and prayers? 
what do you mean thoughts and prayers? I'm genuinely wondering what illness will require six months from surgery and why can't we see our hair? Can we get proof of life? How dare you? No, really, can we get proof of life? Then they let it like she was going to be gone for nine months. Then William said that she wasn't coming to the Earthshot Prize in 2024, South Africa. And then we said, where the F is Kate? This is the longest she's ever been missing. Where is she? We have not seen hide nor hair of her, her children, but most importantly, her family. Where is she? So what did they do? They trotted out a photo of Kate with her mom. We all know that didn't look like Kate. Oddly enough, the car that they were driving was a rental because it had the no smoking signs and the sticker. I have the pictures from a rental agency. And we all said, Kate's mom is driving a rental Audi to take the kids to school. William popped up and said, how dare you? How effing dare you? I've taken the kids to school. All right, William. Well, since you're at the middle of this and the beginning and the end, in the meantime, we also saw William unraveling every single day. I know we say he's a mess. I know we say he's an idiot. I know we say he's a big dumb dumb. And I tend to agree. I stand by it. However, we have we are seeing him unravel. Let's get back into this, and then I'm going to get into my theory. But again, last time I say this, don't ever let anybody shame you from asking questions. You can ask a question. And when no answer is given, I think it's fine to ponder what's going on. Anyway, he says, I really hate to join the conversation. Why? Because Kensington Palace made it that way. That if you questioned, there was something wrong with you. Even though the world's starting to wake up to what the Sussex Squad on YouTube, at the very least, knew from the beginning. So, where the F is Kate. I really hate to join the conversation, but this photo really has been photoshopped. There's a weird ghost sleeve here and some clumsy rubber stamping, which has left some unaligned red tartan pen on the skirt. Why would they do that? Okay. Now you can see that there is a weird tartan pattern. Why is that? Because I'll tell you why. I believe that they took a picture of Charlotte from a different day with a different person holding her, maybe even her mom did, I don't know. I think they photoshopped the color of the sweater. I think they changed the color of the plaid skirt so it looked like she was wearing something different. People like to notice that Kate doesn't have her wedding ring. I believe that was done intentionally because I will always stand by this. I believe William and Kate are soft launching their divorce. Now, whether Kate is conscious, because if you guys don't know, the Spanish media has said, in fact, that Kate uh, is in a coma. I tend to believe this because it shows over and over and over again that Kate cannot come to the phone, for lack of better words. Again, the fact of it doesn't give anybody joy to say this. It's not gleeful to actually be concerned about someone you don't even like. But it's questions that 100% need to happen. There are questions that 100% need to be asked. Let's also continue. Again, the person that can allot for this is William. William can just come out and say, hey, listen, I like the picture. I photoshopped this. I changed it up. I tried to use Face app and it was unsuccessful. Kensington Palace is silent. The AP press has contacted, Reuters, ha Reuters has contacted, the AFP uh, has uh, been contacted. Again, these are the databases for all major news organizations to distribute this photo. They have deemed it. They will not jeopardize their journalistic integrity. Oh, there's more, guys. There's more. Because, yes, I literally, we, we need to talk about this. Uh, let's move on to the next slide, shall we? Um, Again, where's William? Why can't William come to the thing? But let's move on to the next slide. Hold on, y'all. Okay. So, let's see. Here's the picture. First thing that's off, that tree has too much foliage for the dead of winter. And to be honest with you, that grass is too thick 
for the dead of winter in the UK. Even if you let the grass go, we can actually ascertain that. Oh, I just noticed something else. We can actually ascertain um, that it doesn't even look like it's in season. That is the original photo. I will say Kate's legs do look very short, but maybe it is a trick of the angle. To anything, this looks like Nanny Maria dressed in Kate's clothes because let's be real, Kate's thighs are not that big. Again, here we see the distortion. Why do I think that the wedding ring was taken off? I think that they are soft launching. I think they're trying to distance. But let's also not forget that Kinsen and Palace is a bunch of idiots. Um, they have not revolutionized. There's a lot of secrets that go on. And again, this is all my opinion. There are a lot of secrets that go on. Hey, long gone. Thank you so much for the super chat. That's right. She said, where is Kate? There is a lot of um, uh, secrets that happen in Kensington Palace. I 100% believe the reason why they keep giving us these dumb photoshopping things is because they don't have anyone that has the skill to do a real photoshopping that they actually trust with the truth. Again, there's all these people that are as old as Charles or at the very least a bunch of Jason Knopfs running around that literally think that the sun rises and sets with them. Nobody will ever question. And they're very, very sloppy because they are not trained professionals because they never modernized with the times. But let's keep going, shall we? Um, we also have a few other interesting things. So if you guys don't notice right here, there is, it might be a little dark, but I'll let you know. There's a zipper at the top of Kate's um, jacket that after an inch and a half disappears because when they photoshopped it, they forgot to put the zipper back in. Again, they're dealing with loser photoshopping. Let's also not forget there's this with uh, her skirt. Clearly the skirt, this is not the right skirt. And they tried to Photoshop like, um, not just patterns in, but even the actual skirt. Again, I swear I've seen this picture before the daily telegraph. And this is how you know that Kinsen and Palace knows the gig is up. The daily tele telegraph had a front page and this is a right wingers bastion saying, Photo from Palace was doctored, says agencies. Now, we all know that perhaps or surmise that there is some type of injunction on the media talking about Kate's medical condition and what's wrong. However, there's no injunction for talking about the photo. That's why the UK media has completely avoided Kate being missing and jumped on the fact that this uh, the photo was doctored. They're saying doctored instead of saying it was AI generated. However, uh, AP routers is contending that it was AI generated. They have machine or programs. Uh, it's been rumored to actually tell because a news organization cannot be subject to a deep fake. The Daily Mail. Uh, the joyous Mother's Day snap was meant to be the reassurance we all needed. But has it backfired? Rebecca English and Sarah Vine, the two vilest, ugliest royal reporters, have actually not just turned, but they are talking about it. Again, this goes into YM uh, Horace's uh, um, theory that there is a special injunction. Sorry, guys. There's a special injunction on talking about Kate and her medical condition, but there is no such injunction on this, the Daily Mail and the Telegraph raced to get this up. This is groundbreaking news that they did a special edition. Let's keep going. This is the original. Wish, wishing everybody a happy Mother's Day. See, I don't know why the derangers are always like, her name is Catherine. She doesn't even call herself Catherine. She calls herself C. I guess she's trying to. Um... Oh, I, wait. C, but we call her Kate. Oh. I guess she's trying to change the narrative. Anyway, let's keep going. Again, the kids. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. Okay, this. 
are all the instances of photoshops or odd things that people can not explain. For instance, Lewis seems to have a third line of teeth. Something's wrong with Charlotte's teeth too. We also have the fact that there is no ring. We also have the odd placements of Kate's hands. We also have the fact of there's something wrong with her boot. We also have the fact of, again, you can look through this photo. There's like 15 things that are obviously Photoshopped, which that in and of itself is not enough to do a, 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 a kill order. Uh, basically what's actually happening is um, they found that there's actually severe uh, manipulation when it comes to Kate's head on her body. Again, the AP, this is who they expected us to believe was Kate, not even three days ago, not even three days ago. Does that look like the same woman to you? Again, we all said that the fake Kate's head was too short. We said it was too round. Again, you see the real Kate right here. These pictures were supposed to be taken one or two days apart by William. Again, somebody called William to the throne. Okay. Again, more from Chris Ship. He's losing it. All the royal porters are losing it. Again, you have to think that there is some type of gag order. This is Louis. And it looks like it has he has a third layer of teeth. I will say this. And there's even reflections on his tongue from the teeth. I will say this. Um, I mean, honestly, it could be inbreeding. <laughs> okay, let me let me move on. Let me move on. Um we have um a source from the Daily News. Let me just zoom in on that. I realize the print is very small. I'll read that to you. The source for the Daily Mail says, Princess of Wales mothering Sunday image of family recalled over editing fears. It's saying instead, it was last night recalled by agencies Getty, the Associated Press, Agency France Press, and Routers, which put out a kill notice to halt their distribution of the picture. They said at closer inspection, it appears that the source is manipulated. A spokesperson told the Telegraph, the, show, the photo shows um, various inconsistencies. They have a policy of not distributing photographs that have been overly edited or cannot be independently verified. Kensington Palace declined to comment. Where's William? William took the picture. Where is the crown prince? He's taken the pr pictures. Okay. Now, why is this? Oh, sorry, guys. Why is this happening? Well, I have a few theories. Also, this is what I wanted to talk to you about. Remember that uh, car that Kate and her mom were, fake Kate and her mom were driving around in? Well, if you notice right here, it has a no smoking sign and it looks like it has um, either dealer tags or rental car tags. Why is Carol Middleton driving around in a rental? The same picture had looked like it had five wheels. When you take the distortion away, it does not look like Kate. The most disturbing thing is a lot of photographers say that the distortion was added after the picture was taken. So they tried to take a picture of Kate to prove her proof of life. It could not pass as real. So they added grainy distortion over it so that it would obscure Let's keep going. We have the notice, all platforms. Let's keep going. Seriously, all jokes aside, where is Kate? Oh, Peter Hunt says, this is damaging for the Royals. No kidding. And you know what the sad thing is? I want to see how many people now... That called us all crazy. That called us all conspiracy. That said, oh my God, this and that. Oh, we don't believe in that. What are you talking about? I hope she gets better. Just being dumb. It's horrible what people are saying online. I hope they feel dumb. Because now even their biggest supporters are saying what we've known all along. There's something wrong. But now that you have permission to speak, will you speak? He said, this is damaging for the royals. They knew there would be an intense interest in any picture they released of Kate. Their challenge is that people will now question whether they can be trusted, spoiler alert, they can't, and believed, spoiler alert, they never could be, when 
they next issue a health update. If Kate is what, well, first of all, Kate's supposed to be returning to work in less than what, three weeks, right? She is well enough to take the kids on a school run. She's well enough to say that she's going to be at the Ministry of Defense. Why is it so unfathomable that Kate cannot give either a videotape message or just actually make an appearance herself? Why can't she host children at her house for charity while she's sitting there with a blanket on her lap reading them a story? And please don't give me this mess about don't question a woman's health. This is not about a woman's health. Please see the forest for the trees. This is about what is wrong with Kate. She's missing. And until we see legitimate proof of life, we need to all be very concerned. Has anybody also seen the Wells children? What do I ask? Not because I give a D about the kids. Not because I want them hounded. Not because I want No. It's because children that young cannot fake when there's something wrong. Louis, Charlotte, George, they cannot fake when something's wrong. Are they back at school? They keep saying they're doing runs. Are they back at school? Yes or no? If they are, then we'll back off. If they aren't, then questions need to be answered. But I don't want the palace to tell us whether they're back. I want the school to issue a statement. You can say it's none of our business, to which I say it is becoming increasingly evident to everybody involved that there's something seriously wrong. There's something very, it seems, sinister going on, very dark-hearted going on, something very dark. We are asking questions because we want clear answers, something the palace refuses to do. And when we demanded proof of life last time, the palace went into this whole Benny Hill um, uh, saga, this whole Benny Hill drama, right? Just, just to come up with fake pictures? You guys, you guys, it's not over. Hold on. We have another picture right here. Oh, I thought this was funny. Somebody put Megan's uh, face over Kate's. Okay, so here we have the cover up. So let's get into this. My theory, before I start reading comments, why do I think it's happening? Well, it's quite simple. Um, Here's the thing. Again, just a YouTube blogger, right? Um, Which I'm very proud of. I love YouTube because YouTube, TikTok, these places, when you see blatant lies from power, it's often the only place that you can actually express your views and find other people and actually discuss and have a conversation. Nobody knows who's, but I think we can all agree something is amiss. Something's not adding up. Okay. So when you look at media, it's important or even just anything with hum humans. People don't just tell, unless they're pathological, fine, but People don't just tell little dumb, stupid lies, right? They don't, they don't tell little dumb, stupid lies for no reason. That's why people get so upset and why the Bible says, oh, white lies are just as worse as big lies because white lies usually lead to bigger lies or they cover up. The palace was telling, it's like, okay, my opinion, so many little lies, so many this, the pictures, this and that. And everybody got caught up in that. But if you take a step back, you need to ask yourself, why are they telling these white lies? It seems like they're doing it to cover up for the bigger lies. I don't even like that term white lies because it implies that like dark is evil and white is like whatever. And that's just another thing, colonialism. But when you look at like, why are you telling all these little lies? It seems like the palace is telling these little lies with one cohesive narrative. They're trying to cover up the one big lie, the one thing they cannot get around and the one thing they can't figure out a way to get around. What is that? They are so desperate to make us believe that there is nothing wrong with Kate, that they don't even realize that they are crashing out and making themselves look like weirdos. Because if there was honestly nothing wrong with Kate, they really would have been like, screw you. Like, she'll get there when she gets there. Shut up.
She would have been working from this. She would have been that. And there's the thing. Kate doesn't work. Her aides do all the behind the scenes work. Her aides do all the coordination. Do you really think Kate's on the phone to Muslim? Hello. Yes, darling. Yes. I'll, I'll be there around seven. Yes. Yes. And you'd like me to bring uh, two banana breads for the charity. Yes. Yes. Love. I'll be there. Do you honestly believe that Kate's doing that? She has a team of workers. The fact that the team of workers would not go out on a limb and say that they were working on behalf of Kate. That was an interesting data point. The fact that the whole world has been screaming, where is this woman? And they cannot give one legitimate video or photo to actually say, this is this woman. Not one, not one. And then when they finally did give, it was ripped apart immediately because it just didn't make sense. So where does that leave us? Well, let's do a little deduction. We know that they're desperate to make us believe that Kate is okay. But at the same time, they, for whatever reason, cannot produce Kate. So you're desperate to make me believe that she's okay, even alive, but you cannot produce one picture that has not been accused of being edited, AI generated, or Photoshopped since Christmas to prove that Kate's okay. So that automatically points, okay, so Kate's definitely not okay. And wherever she's at, whether it's by choice or she has none, she either will not or cannot give us any type of actual video or anything. Then you look at, so kick that data point. This is the way I look at stuff. Like, okay, what's really going on? Then we go to Kensington Palace. Kensington Palace said she would make a full recovery. They said she's recovering, right? And, and it's going as expected. Okay, but that doesn't mean anything. Somebody that you get, well, I'm not want to say anything grim, but yeah. So the recovery is not expected to be a full recovery or else she would have said it. And the date that she will be recovered, keep moving, 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 moving. And I have a feeling that one of the reasons why, okay, so that keeps moving. Can't see her. What's that? Well, I feel one of the reasons that they're actually putting out these fake pictures is because Kate's scheduled to return to work Easter. Everybody said it would be on around Easter that she would return to public duties. See, I think Kate's not able to return. I believe the Spanish media when they said that she is in a coma, right? I don't think she's able to come by Easter. So they're trying to kick the can. But even their pompous idiocy would not allow them to believe that they can just say, oh, you know what, never mind. It's going to be till Trooping of the Color without uproar. So they think if they release some pictures of Kate, we'll be like, okay, maybe she's resting. I think that's why. So that's going on. Then you have King Charles who has cancer, and Camilla, and Edward, and all these people that are old, dirt and dirt. The Michael Kent that literally looked like an exhumed Prince Philip, hobbling along. This isn't being ages. This is about the fact that you had the oldest, most vulnerable members, even the king who has cancer, out here working. Okay, that doesn't make any sense, but William can't. And Kate can't work from home because she's recovering, even though she's scheduled to start her appearances in three weeks, but there's nothing on her diary. Okay, so let's look at that data point. Then we have William, who looks like he's been unraveling over the weeks. Maybe it's guilt, maybe it's sadness, but he's definitely unraveling. Doesn't seem to be acting like a husband whose wife is going to be able to take her place working again. So there's that data point. But my mind keeps going back to the fact that they are desperate to make us believe that Kate's okay. So now let's add the most recent data point. See, everybody's talking about the UK pulling the story, not sorry, the AP pulling the story back and all this other stuff. And that is startling. I don't think anybody's in the PR field has ever seen that at a publication this large. Powell silent. But why are they silent? Well, let's let's think about it. 
than everything else we know. You see, wouldn't that kill thing, the kill order was, uh, kill switch or whatever for the story was made? There was no accompanying article about why they did it. Now, here's why that's so important to me. Because it's not just what people do, it's what they don't do that tells you a lot. All major news outlets all want those clicks and views. That's why the coverage is going to shit so much because they want those clicks and views. They care more about what Kim Kardashian ate for breakfast than what's going on in the Mid East, at least it appears, because they want those clicks and views. Or maybe they want to distract. But the AP press is also a database. They give up to the minute um, updates. They have some of the best writers working for them. And baby, they can turn around a story like this. They don't have to wait an hour for print. They don't have to. No, 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 no. Baby, they work. Mm -mm 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 -mm. It's the Associated Press since the beginning of time. They're the illest and the realest. That's why they get the most shine. There's also something that happens with journalists where it's their life's work. They're very territorial about who breaks stories. I thought it was very odd that by the time they decided to issue the deletion switch, right? They had figured out why they couldn't run it. And they knew why they couldn't run it. And they issued an internal memo to, uh, not even internal, a, a news press blast to everybody to touch that picture. And again, they're a database. So it's going to Fox News, MSNBC, CNBC, your local paper. People buy pictures and articles from AP Press, and they are a source for a lot of things. They go boom, 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 boom. Everybody. So it's a major recall. Okay. But I know the way the AP Press works very well. And in the time it took you to write up the kill order for the story, you could have also wrote up the 500-word blurbs AP Press usually does explaining why they were pulling it back. AP Press didn't do that. They just issued that notice. Now, that notice was enough for them to take ownership of the story. It was definitely enough for them to take ownership of the story, which is what they wanted. So they take ownership of the story. Okay. That's interesting. But they don't write why. They don't explain. And then it hit me. The story with Kate is about to break wide open. The Kensington Palace is flat-footed. Because while they would not completely never run a story, that much is true. We all can admit that for heads of state or royalty, or something that goes so far as to rock the very foundation of a pillar of English society. Let's not forget the Tories are very, very deep current thing because William let the wolves in. Not because of Charles and Camilla. I'm not saying they're not friendly with the Tories, but William literally co-mingled them into the British royal family and with the government. If they knew something was amiss that would rock to the very bottom, the AP pet press wouldn't make the story never run, but they would slow the story coming out, out of protocol or respect for a pillar of a huge nation's government. It would be akin to finding that there was, I don't know, foul play with our secretary of state or RVP. True, the AP wouldn't not run the story, but they would slow it down while taking ownership of it to let everybody know, hey, we broke this first. We're not going to say what it is until we talk to them, but just know you heard it here first. So why would they do that? Well, they would do that because at the end of the thing, anybody with a rational mind, regardless of what you think happened to Kate, can come to this same conclusion. Kate's been missing. They cannot produce proof of life. The proof of life they have tried to pass off 
has been verified by major media outlets as fake. The AP News, which would have ran a huge story about why they pulled this down, because, baby, that's more clicks and views. Why wouldn't they want that? Has chosen to just give an official order and to stay mute. Kinson and Palace is mute. Everybody's mute. The person that took the picture that just yesterday was her husband, William, was out there being like, I take the kids to school every day. Remember when a news outlet dared suggest? that William wasn't going on a school run and William immediately issued a response, but yet your wife is basically for all intents and purposes missing and nobody can say anything about that? Well, honey, what does that say to you? What does that say to you? It says to me that something's wrong. It says to me that something's very wrong. It is important to note, William doesn't have immunity yet. I know what people say. William has immunity from all prosecution as the future king. He does not. The king has immunity. Now, royal residences cannot be searched. The police cannot enter. So even if you committed a crime, as long as the body is in the house, they ever going to find it. They can't question. They can't do this. They can't do that. But if enough evidence comes out, William is not exempt from going to the catacombs. William knows that. Charles knows that. Camilla knows that. A prince that is sitting in the middle of the catacombs cannot lead a country. Of course, don't lead a country, but at the very least, they cannot fleece a country. So there we have it. So there we have it. There we have it. Listen, what's going on with it? What's going on? I'll tell you what's going on. Kate's missing. She's been missing. The palace are liars. They've been liars. We've questioned it should have been questioning it. This story has broken open. It's been broken open to the people paying attention and not getting distracted by the palace's moral signaling. A lot's going on. The AP press is not walking away from the story, but they're definitely doing a soft launch for the palace to come clean. Will they? Probably not. William is probably right now swaying somewhere, probably incandescent of rage, probably punching the walls, maybe. You know about that boy's temper. The kids, who knows what's going through their minds. Kate, I think it's been proven once and for all. Whatever's going on, she either cannot, right, or will not be seen. And you know what the sickest part about this is? Whatever is going on with Kate, and I do believe there's something really, really wrong with her. The palace in that fake photoshopped picture, all they wanted to do, all William wanted to do because he runs Kensington Palace, is get a picture out with Kate with no wedding ring on. Because even though the whole world is worried about where the mother of his kids is, it looks like his people and William, because they do his bidding, only cared about moving forward a narrative that Kate's single and so is William. Even at these dark times, William's stupid quest to let everybody know they are separated and getting divorced. Don't forget, you cannot divorce a queen, whether she is blood or right, but you can divorce the Princess of Wales. Y'all listen. Listen, where's Carol Middleton? Good one eternity. Where's, listen, where's James? We already know where Uncle Gary is sitting up there bringing more shame to the family name. I, I didn't even think that loser could do worse. And look at him. He's proven that dirtbag was too nice a term. Who's numerous? Listen, listen, listen. What, what, what else? I, again, 
we can all speculate why. But as much as they like to say these are conspiracy theories, all these niceties, the palace has proved made you guys all liars. Not y'all, but made them all look stupid. Made them look idiots. So now that we know that's not true, the only step that remains, no, no matter how improbable, must be closer to the truth than any narrative they put out. And baby, what remains are some very, very, very dark, sinister theories. Dark, sinister theories. Anyway, you guys, listen. I hope you enjoyed uh, this live. Let me just see if there's any updates before we head on out. Um, yeah, this is, it's just, ugh. it's just disgusting. It's a shame. It's a tragedy. I don't know what to say. Let's see what the UK papers are saying in the comment sections. Have the derangers come to their senses yet? Somebody said, so instead of silencing conspiracy theorists with the truth, Kensington Palace decided to lie again. William and Kate are truly embarrassing. It's sad they dragged their children into their lives. Baby, their children... Mm. Kensington Palace, not the person said, Kensington Palace, Palace has no concern issuing the fake uh, because they know British media would not question them on anything. They didn't plan for credible media. Kensington Palace has been clearly lying about so many things over the past several years, but they've always taken the UK. They've always taken in the UK by their word. Now, not so much. William needs to come clean. Obviously, something is wrong with Kate and she couldn't be in the photo. Somebody said, not their first fraudulent file. There was a doctor photo. Oh, this is a good point. Sidoni, Daphine uh, Sidoni says, this is not the first fraudulent file. Uh, and that means a uh, picture. There were doctor photos of Queen Elizabeth and her grandkids. You guys remember that? When they wanted to dunk on Harry and Meghan at the fact that her kids weren't allowed to see Queen Elizabeth. And Queen Elizabeth was dying on, I think it was alleged cancer. So they took a Photoshop picture of Queen Elizabeth when she was in healthier times. And then they Photoshopped all the grandchildren in just so they could exclude Harry and Meghan and the kids. And because of that, right? The royal family was called out. These are the people that... Even some Sussex squad on Twitter were defending. I'm not going to interrogate women's health. All right. Do you want to talk about the missing one? Because that's what we were talking about. But you were too busy moral signaling. So let me know how that goes. Anyway, right? William forged Harry's signature on a joint statement. S Sidoni, Daf Daphine Sidoni says, they are very consistent, Peter. She's replying to Peter Hunt's um, uh, Twitter thing, and she said abolish the monarchy. Uh, what else is going on? Somebody said, I haven't trusted them since they watched Megan being eaten by media wolves. Gave her no support whatsoever. This is SPR on Twitter. But I want to add to that. They didn't turn around and said that they had no power to say anything to media. They said several issues have percolated over multiple years of road trust independent of this event. William Windsor's value system is rooted, is not rooted in a transparency. Neiman Lab said people have started to really distrust not just the royal family, but the porters and outlets that cover the royal family. Welcome to the role. You guys, I do believe that this, this is almost as big as when Princess Diana passed away. And the fact that there's something very wrong. And I'm really honestly beginning to question whether Kate is still with us. And I'm not even saying that funny or whatever. There's been no jokes in this live. Well, maybe a few, but I almost got through the live without making a joke. Um, but the trust. Even the Rangers are on Twitter dragging kids in a palace. They said they can't be trusted. It's been lie after lie. From the very beginning, Kate entered the hospital. People are estimating on December 28th, not as implied in January. That was from Alex. Woke and sniggling a lot said, and this is um, this is a deranger. You can tell by the woke and sniggling. It almost makes Rotors and other media outlets um, look dishonest. 
Why didn't they check the authenticity of the photo before republishing it? You'd think they'd be some sort of process in place to prevent this type of thing. I love the fact that even the derangers have no one else to blame. So now they're blaming routers and the AP press for the palace giving them a clearly fake photo. And they're saying that they should have checked because they should have known. Y'all, it's a cold day in hell. I'll tell you that much. Um, people are waiting for the Royal Rota to clean up this mess. Somebody finally said they need a proof of life video now. And they've done this to themselves. It's astonishing how poor these communications program is. They said the royal family fails to realize that the international media agencies do not report to them like the British media does. They reap what they sow. They threw Harry and Meghan to the wolves, and they've done the same thing to Kate, too. When she's at her lowest, Harry was right about the palace all along. You guys, derangers are starting to say that Harry was right about the royal media all alone. You guys, you cannot make this up at all. You really honestly can't. Harry was right all along. All right, guys. There you have it. Listen. I know I've been gone for the weekend. I had a lot of stuff uh, to take care of. I was actually investigating a few things. I am going to be back with a vengeance tomorrow or today, whichever day it is for you, Monday. I'm going to be back with the vengeance. Until then, let me know in the comments what your best guess is. Let me know what your best guess is, what is going on. You guys, even if I don't get into live chat, I read all the comments. Um, again, something's very, very wrong. Charles is not wrong for this world. I'll tell you one thing. If he abdicates throne, yeah, I don't know who they're really trying. Because at the end of the day, Charles wants that throne, but he's invested in the monarchy surviving. William was the one and will be the one. He is the king that was promised. Thank you, William, for abolishing, abolishing the monarchy. All right, y'all. I'll talk to you later. In the meantime, shout out to William. Ma, no bar. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.